Hey everybody, welcome to my second review for tonight. And this one is going to be another review on an updated version of Outpost Security Suite. This is 7.1, the free edition. And this is basically the second fully, one of the, well, not fully functional, but fairly fully functional um, free security suites on the market that I know of first one is of course Komodo which is fully functional and then there's this one which is missing some features but you know it's alright well we'll see if it is alright or not so um, I did update it everything is installed and turned on so just like it comes from the factory all I did is I left auto learn mode but everything else is just like it should be. You can see everything's enabled. So let's first just do a quick eyeball of kind of give me a quick idea of RAM usage. Now some people say this isn't a true way to measure. Yeah, I know it's not, but in my opinion, I've never seen a program that was heavy in RAM and I mean, I've seen a couple that were heavy in RAM, but light to use, but I've never seen any that were light in RAM and heavy on the on the computer usage. So if a program is light in RAM, it tends to be pretty light on the computer, too. So um, you're looking at what? About the 35 megs, which definitely isn't light. It's not super heavy, but I've seen much lighter than this. So it's kind of in the middle. So let's just get right down to the tests. So it created a rule automatically in the firewall. Now these are the same links that I used for Immunet 3.0 and I've added a couple more at the bottom to make up for the ones that uh, I was missing. So this one wants a outbound connection. We'll allow it once. So it could download whatever it needs to download. And again. Okay, so it's attempting to modify another applicant's memory. So let's see if I click Smart Advisor. Now this should really tell me what I what I should do. Because nothing by their alert is telling me it's dangerous, it's not dangerous, but let's see here. Common activity of applications such as debuggers and copy and paste or copy utilities. Okay, so it says performed by an application of this type and you know that that this application is running on your computer with your permission. This most likely a legitimate activity. Otherwise we recommend blocking it. So it's kind of one of those should we, shouldn't we, should we, shouldn't we. So I will allow it once and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's trying to add an auto start entry. So we will allow that once. Now, I remember when I did this in Immunet, it caught something that it was actually trying to, a piece of malware that this was trying to install. I think it was when it was trying to install the toolbar. after it's done doing the installing driver deal. Well, at least the signature is in Immunet. Caught that. So we'll see if anything pops up here. There you go. There's something that's pretty, uh, that shouldn't really, this one's trying to target this app, this, uh, process in memory. Let's 
trying to close basically it looks like it's trying to close uh, at least what it says supported browser so I'm gonna block that I'll let that work around in the background see if anything else comes up okay this is the second one it's trying to mess around with browser helper objects that's not a good thing and again okay in this application it's trying to get um, it's trying to get an outbound connection again probably to track the install so I'll allow I always allow firewall alerts and there it goes again and now it's trying to mess around the start page and search hooks and this one is kinda hard to see what the hell what's it trying to do here this one I can't see, see here again search hooks and once again it wanted out so basically and tried to install a toolbar and change a lot of the settings for my browser so you can consider that toolbar adware so I did all the, all the work blocking all that there was nothing popped up from the AV side okay here we go wrist tool okay so we will remove that's good still waiting on that one to download though that one's kind of useless okay found that Trojan sure if I already did this one that one didn't work last time okay now this one wants remote access outbound so we'll let it go out and again Okay, now it's trying to add auto start. Run once. Well, I know that's kind of malicious. Trying to modify a critical object. Definitely block. Excuse me, one sec. Had to cough and didn't want to make everybody go deaf. This one's trying to listen attempt to listen to a port block once again it's trying to modify a critical config.system file and listen and listen again listen. so as you can see it's trying to change Internet Explorer settings I'm just gonna block everything from that We'll just do block one, block and terminate. That'll make my life easier. Okay, so once again, auto start entries. We'll block and see what happens, see what kind of pop ups I get. trying to 
whatever this is. I think it's this one. I was trying to access explorer.exe. So let's allow it once and just see what happens. And all I did is add some files to desktop. Okay, that's no big deal. We'll keep going here. Link's not valid anymore. Okay, that one didn't work because I couldn't mess around with the registry. Okay, this program flash 51 wants to listen to a port. So we'll block that. Block it again. It seems to be just wanting to do the same thing. It's just testing different ports continuously. So we'll block and terminate. Let's see what this one's trying to do. Now it says it's for, it's for Macromedia Inc. Which is funny. Because we know it's not. It's trying to change um, application restrictions apparently. That's a big no-no. Almost no, nothing should change. So it keeps trying to change different and now it's trying to change auto start so far we've had almost what two three things from the AV so I've been doing all the uh, blocking on this system almost all of it. This one's trying to change windsock. That's just a big no-no. System objects. Let's see if it gives up and it tries to do anything else. Last one. Trying to change critical object. Critical object just seems to be going after the same one over and over. Okay, so now, let's see if we have anything running in memory. Yeah, we do. But let me kill this. All right. So now let me do a full scan, and then I'll reboot. once uh, I give you the result from this full scan. So I will be back with the result. Okay guys, so we have uh, some results here. Looks like I found some of those toolbars. Um, browser aid and search toolbar and some registry key changes here. Part of that search toolbar. So we're going to select them all we're going to delete them all or quarantine. So now I'm going to reboot and I will be back with the results from I'm going to start with uh, malware bytes this time. So I'll be back with the results from that in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back here. Um, I just did realize that I forgot to scan with CCleaner, so uh, we'll see what these nine ones are that it found. Well, it looks like it did find some temporary internet files, so that's fine. 
and it looks like some of these files are on the hard drive. So let's see, the Coop face, Trojan downloader, Rogue Security Shield, even though I stopped it, it was still able to put some files. These don't count. So let's try to see what happens. If I try to run that file. Yeah, see, it'll just do the same thing, but the files are there, and it's kind of interesting because it doesn't give me an option to delete them. So what I guess you're waiting for is for the signatures to catch up, and when we when you do a scan, to find these and delete them. Yeah, this is great. MBAM Malwarebytes was attempting to modify a critical object and it blocked it. Great. Nice whitelist there. Um, and um, that was interesting. Okay, so now let's see. Let's do a scan with Hitman Pro, but first I'm going to scan with CCleaner just to get everything out of the way. And I'll be right back with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro didn't find anything, so that's good. And last but not least, let me just throw Cleaning Essentials at it, and we'll see if it finds anything. So, for, for the time being, I'm going to suspend protection for one hour, just to give um, Cleaning Essentials the fastest, be able to scan as fast as it can. So I will be back with the results. Alright guys, so I was going to try to do a scan with Cleaning Essentials, but for some odd reason, at this point in time, it won't start. It just kind of sits here it's not even loading up with stuff, I don't know why so that's kinda very weird. I can get kill switch to load up just fine you can see that it's actually loading up into RAM but and there it goes and I'll analyze all the files and see everything's safe but for some odd reason cleaning essentials just will not load up. So it's very very weird. See it just kind of sits there. Hmm. Alright, well that's that. Um, final little synopsis. For a free free security suite it's alright. Um, it's much more user intensive than other ones, especially, you know, since Komodo and stuff have their sandbox and all that other stuff, you really don't get a lot of pop-ups. This one bombards you with a ton of things, but if you know what you're doing and, you know, the questions to answer, you'll definitely get the protection. I wish that they would go with another AV um, suite to, you know, get the signatures in there, because the ones that they're using aren't very good. At least that's my opinion. Um, other than that, you know, it's just another thing you guys can try out to play with if you like it. And I did try turning auto learn mode on when I was trying to get um, cleaning essentials to start up, and it's still nothing. Something must be interacting with with it. Maybe it's a driver from Outpost. Who knows? So that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Have a good night, and I'll talk to everybody later.